Hello again, this is Ante here from the Tech Muse Academy with another MixLessons.com video quick tip. Um, this is a nice short and sweet one today um, that I got from a question by a, a, an Academy member named Marcus. And Marcus was asking about how to make MP3 files in Cubase, how to export as an MP3 in Cubase. So I want to take a second and walk you through that right now. It's pretty simple. So I've got on the screen here a session that I've been working on. It's a mix from a band called The Divided Line. Um, the track is called When 30 Days Became 30 Nights. And uh, I'll just play a little bit of it for you now. So they got sort of a um, sort of a tool kind of vibe, you could say. Um, good music. I had a good good time mixing this, and I want to show you right now how to get this out as an MP3. So the first thing you're going to want to do is a regular export. So you'll set your locators to the beginning and the end of the of the piece, like so. Uh, another way to do that, by the way, is if you do com uh, Control or Command A to select everything and hit the P button, the uh, Cubase will automatically adjust the locators to the beginning and ends of the selection. So that's a simple way to do it. Next, we're going to go up to the File menu, which is on my other screen, so you can't see it, and I'm going to choose Export Audio Mix Down. And when I do, this dialog comes up. And you're probably familiar with this already. Um, at the top here is where you give it a name. Uh, here is where you want to save it. And I'm just going to save this on my desktop. Um, and then here, file format is where you choose if you want it to be a WAV file or anything else. So MPEG layer 3 is an MP3. Uh, I can adjust the quality here. I like a nice high quality, 320k kilobits, um, 44 one sample rate, and I'm going to, that's really all you need to do. Um, I'm going to do an export. Make sure you choose the stereo bus. My, in my case, it's bus one. That's where all of the tracks are landing, and you're going to hit export, and that's all there is to it. Now, one thing I will say, see this error message that just popped up, um, Cubase uh, not just Cubase, but the MP3 codec, the technology uh, that is the MP3, is licensed. Uh, it's, it's, uh, there's a patent holder who owns the, the rights to that technology. <clears throat> so a company like Steinberg, who makes Cubase or Avid, who makes Pro Tools or anything like that, they actually would have to pay a royalty in order to use the MP3 codec in their product. So some of the lighter versions of these applications do not have direct to MP3 exporting because they're a lighter free or inexpensive version of the software uh, where the company could not justify paying the royalty on every single copy that they sold. So typically the higher end versions will allow you that functionality. So if you're using Cubase LE or AI or one of the lighter versions, I think Elements is, is also one of them, um, you're not going to find this feature. So I'm just going to say, okay, I'm going to cancel out of that. What you can do instead is after you've um, Export it as a WAV file in full lossless quality. You can open that file, and I'm just going to see if I can find one here uh, in iTunes. And once that file uh, is imported into iTunes, and I'm just going to go to my song view here, and we'll just take any one of these tunes. I don't know what they are. Uh, I think this is a tune by my good buddy Emerson Ireland here. Um, I can right click on that song, and I can say, create an mp3 version. Now, if you don't see this option, the thing you need to do is to go into your preferences and go under CD import and, and click the import settings button. And here is where you choose, when I import a CD, what do I want to turn it into? Choose mp3 and hit OK. And you'll notice if I change that to something else, for example, AAC, now, when I right click on this track in iTunes, it says create AAC version. So if we want MP3s, again, just open up your preferences, uh, import CD options, change that to MP3, hit OK. And now I can right click on anything in iTunes and say create MP3 version and boom, I've got an MP3 version now of that song. Um, from there, I can just right click and say, <clears throat> um, where did it go? Uh, Oh, there's normally a show in finder. There it is. I can say show in the finder 
and it opens up my finder uh, or it will say show in explorer if you're on windows and there's the track mp3 version of the track right there okay so that is how you can get mp3s out of cubase um, and if you can't get an mp3 out this is how you can then one extra step to turn your wave file into an mp3 to reduce its file size um, and so you can send it in an email or anything like that so hopefully that helps and we'll see you on the next quick tip Thank you.